Hi, Hi fellow birdies. birdies. My name is Crystal. And this is her husband, Charles. And you're watching another edition of Songbirds Eating Show. Mm -hmm. In today's video, we are having a special feast of Mediterranean food. Now, this is actually some stuff we haven't tried before, but we have had the shawarma platters. Now, this was requested by one of my fellow subscribers, Hannah. So, hello, Hannah, and thank you so much for this request. Mm -hmm. And also, <clears throat> this is a special collaboration with one of my sweet friends, Insecure Lips. Now, she basically started out her channel because she wanted, you know, loved cooking, wanted to get to know people and make friends along the way. And I'm mm -hmm. really glad she's here and part of this community. She seems like a really sweet down to earth person. So please mm -hmm. check her channel out in the description box below and subscribe to her. I really appreciate that. Indeed. <laughs> she seems like a really nice person. Well, I haven't really had the chance to get to know her much. So, yeah, and I can't see much of her. <laughs> For today's meal, we are having a combination of, I think it's called a Sultan Meza or Meza combo. And it comes with hummus, baba ganoush, tabbouleh, and pita, casa chips, and falafel, grape leaves. I think it's called. A lot of complicated names. And also we have some lamb shawarma and rice for me. And for Chuck, he's got beef shawarma. But before we get started, be sure to click the red button down below to subscribe to my channel and hit that button to need the notifications. Let's go. <laughs> okay. Okay, so what are you going to start with? Uh, mm. Mm, I'll try some of it too, probably. Mmm. Okay. Good. Not bad. My favorite part of these meals is always the grape leaves. Like, since I first tried them out a year ago, I really love grape leaves. Let's see. I'll try these ones and actually see mm -hmm. how they go. I hope it's okay if I'm using my And by the way, they go in hummus. Oh, they do? Mm-hmm. Thank you for letting me know this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. These definitely taste better than those ones you find in cans. Like, it tastes more fresh. And it doesn't remind me of olives. Which I know you hate. <laughs> You're correct. These are good, though. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know why you hate olives. Olives are good. I won't go so strong as to say hate. It's not very fond of. Try to dip it into a sauce, but it keeps falling apart a little bit. Probably because beef. I'm trying to figure out like, what this sauce goes with. Like, we got this green sauce and also this pink sauce. This one is kind of like a little bit more spicy. I don't know if it's like a spicy mayo or what. Like, what do you use these sauces for? I guess like we can dip the falafel in there. This is my first time having falafel. I thought mm. it was bakla I thought the baklava I had last time was falafel, but this is a falafel. <laughs> Mm. It's definitely a good dip with this stuff, but I think I would definitely prefer like the green one. I guess you dip the pita in your casa chips in it too. Uh, morning like I said, I'm not very familiar with most of this stuff, so if I'm eating wrong, please let me know. Or you can let me know. <laughs> so anyway, how have you been doing lately? We've been doing pretty good. Just uh, trying to get, you know, things going a little bit in life here. Mm -hmm. There's actually some cool new video ideas we're going to be trying out pretty soon. Like the day after I filmed this, this is Wednesday the 10th, I'm going to be making homemade from scratch this chili relleno. Chili relleno. Okay, chili relleno. Yep, oh in gosh. Spanish, <clears throat> it's basically like a Y kind of like relleno, like basically like a... Chili relleno. Mm -hmm. Okay, chili relleno, casserole, and um, I'm going to try to film the cooking process. We don't have the new stove yet but i'll just maybe like do like quick one this time just to kind of like say hey here it is i know you guys have been asking for it for a long time and we keep forgetting yep 
As I, I did this, you know, um, lasagna. I think it was yesterday. Mm-hmm. Was it yesterday? And I was like, "So, did you remember to film it?" Oops. <laughs> I kind of feel like it's my fault too because I should have remembered that, but it's just like I keep forgetting. This time, no forgetting. We're going to put like a little you know, sticky note on the food. <laughs> like, do not forget to film. Those sticky notes really do help. Like, mm-hmm. I have often found that uh, I remember things when I do that. So, here's the baba ganoush. Yep. I know it seems kind of basic, but mm. like, one thing I used to you know, cause issues like the backdrop for, you know, the you know ASMR channel. And, like, when we used to film in the same room for that, mm-hmm. Chris would often forget, like, okay, I did an ASMR. You need to you know, take down the you know, backdrop for the you know, uh, mukbang. Right, so I like wrote down notes to remember to like hook up the microphone, turn on the camera, you know, make sure you push the record buttons, make sure the audio source is selected is correct, you know, so it's just quite a lot of things. <clears throat> so, yeah. Mm. I love the meat. Mm-hmm. By the way, this comes from a local train we feature at least twice, I think, on this channel called mm-hmm. Calspa. Mm-hmm. And uh, they make uh, Mediterranean Lebanese foods. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. They're very good, I will say that. Mm-hmm. This probably ganoush isn't bad. I think it's like eggplant, and that's what she mentioned. Mmm. Kind of got a little bit more of like a roasted taste to it, I think. I could be wrong. I'm not saying you're wrong. I mean, it's not very good at describing taste. No, <laughs> I'm not either. <laughs> don't worry, like, I've used the word tangy, I don't know how many times, for ASMR videos. This mm. kind of sort of reminds me of garlic, but not so much the flavor, but the texture. It's kind of like, you know, pita, tri- uh, like that pita bread that's been like cut into strips and like maybe fried. Is that how it is? Well, yeah, these are like pita chips. They're called calza chips, but they're pita, that's the, you know, pita. We just like potato chips sort of thing. That's pretty good. I definitely agree. Mm-hmm. And the baba ganoush is quite tasty. Mm. I will admit that this stuff right here, what's it called again? The Tabuli. 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 Okay, tab- tabuli. Mm-hmm. That stuff has a nervous. <laughs> mainly because I'm not a huge fan of tomatoes, but I'm willing to give it a shot. I don't think it's bad, but and I haven't tried it yet. I might try something right now. Kind of looks like a, a salad sort of thing. The tomato really isn't overwhelming. I mean, I think you could probably handle that. <laughs> it just kind of reminds me of like a fresh salad. Like, I'm not sure what all these little things are. I think they're just like, I think this is couscous. Aha, I thought it was. It looks like couscous. Well, so it's the best couscous I've ever had. I'll have to like look, um, <laughs> Like a bit more into what tabuli, tabuli is made of. I'm still trying to get it pronounced right. <laughs> mm. <laughs> so yeah, this is like our first time having the tabuli and the baba ganoush. And it came with this um, Sultan, they call it Sultan Meza combo at the Caswell restaurant. I wonder if that's like the name of a you know, dish type or if it's like named after someone. Hmm. I, I don't know. know. I don't know either. Hmm. 
I could probably literally eat this food all day. Mm -hmm. Like, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. Now, what I'm trying to figure out, should I eat the rice just by itself or should I, you know, pour some of the sauce on it? Right. So the sauce, so you'd actually pour the sauce on these things? I don't know. I don't know. It's like the only thing I can think of using these for is like these or or the um, or the falafel. I think that those go very well with the hummus. So I'll probably just pour the sauce on the rice because the meat is great as is. Mm-hmm. But if you know what these sauces are called, please let us know. I have no idea. <laughs> like really, but. List that in the, um, you know, when we're ordering it. I just know it's tasty. Mm -hmm. And for all the, you know, some people claim I'm like intelligent or something. When it comes to food, I'm a simple man with simple tastes. Mm -hmm. If it's tasty, it's good. You know what springtime was like um, about a week away? Actually, like a little over. Hard and to believe I, that. Sorry. Hard to believe that like just a few weeks ago we were like frozen and solid. Mm -hmm. This weather's just changing so quickly. Maybe it's part of the new normal. Mm -hmm. Let's see. One thing I've been playing a lot of lately is um, watching this TV show called Ghost Adventures. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's actually my favorite TV show. And for the longest time, I wasn't able to watch it because I didn't have a subscription for anything that was you know, made it available. So I finally got Discovery Plus. And they have the entire, I think the entire series on there, but I'm not sure. But I'm so glad to be able to watch it again. I love seeing Zach and Aaron and Billy go on these adventures everywhere. And I really believe that it's, you know, true what they're experiencing. Because a lot of it just seems like it's not acted out. It's like right in the moment when it happens. So it kind of makes me believe in the paranormal all the more. <laughs> I think that a lot of it's probably because they're filming a show, but I'm not saying I believe it, but I'm not saying I don't, you know, 100% not believe it. Right. But the show is definitely, like, really interesting. It kind of keeps me intrigued a lot. I need to check out and see what they have on Discovery Plus that I might like to watch. Mm hmm. They got a lot of shows on there. Oh, is it like Discovery Channel stuff or is it. No, it's stuff that like is on Travel Channel. Um, I think some of it might be TLC. I don't know, but it's like not just Discovery Channel. Hmm. It's like a combination of a lot of things. So. But yeah, it's like. Their shows are really interesting. Like, I used to watch Ghost Hunters and stuff back then, too, but for some reason, something about that show didn't really, like, seem realistic. I don't know what it was. Listen, I think the only really ghost shows I watched as a kid were Casper. I really liked the Casper movie. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I used to watch that when I was a kid. Casper. Mm-hmm. I got that Casper movie from the 90s. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. The live action one. It was it had a, a cute ending. Casper is a friendly ghost. Something like that. I Not that to, one. <laughs> I used to watch a lot of shows back when I was a kid. Like I even watched some um, Tom and Jerry shows as well on Cartoon Network. Now, that was a blast. Indeed. <laughs> I would usually watch that uh, while I was at my grandma's house, my grandma's house, and Elmer 
<laughs> and I would, would laugh at the, you know, Jerry um, running away from Tom all the time. <laughs> what else, whatever else you can say about Tom and Jerry, I gotta say it's impressive that even in like the 90s, people were still watching, you know, like, they were still doing the reruns from like mm-hmm. the 50s or something like that. Yeah, it was the reruns. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's that's what they were showing. They were showing the reruns from the 40s and 50s. They came out in the late 40s, right? That's when they started um, doing that. So, and um, I also watch. I see Bugs Bunny, well Looney Tunes, and um, I, I I saw so many episodes of that. That um, like literally, I probably saw just about every single one. It, I would often see rerun, re- repeats of that. Mm-hmm. Well, if they're not making more. Eventually, they're gonna run out of things to show you that repeats. Excuse me. Mm-hmm. Okay. But yeah, shows back then um, were just like so innocent and uh, very family oriented. Um, although I did used to watch, like, Toonami as well, which was another thing on Cartoon Network. Like, they showed the, like, animes, like Dragon Ball Z and stuff like that. I love the Yu Hakusho as well as Dragon mm-hmm. Ball Z. Unfortunately, I never got the pleasure of, like, watching some of the episodes. Hmm. I'm trying to think which ones it was that I missed. A lot of the climax of the Sensui arc, I remember that, like... This one where this guy is like assassin or sniper is his name. I think he's going after Yusuke. He's got he's hit him with everything, including like a ta- anchor. <laughs> yeah, I used to watch Dragon Ball Z back in the day. I didn't know what even the series was about really back then. It was like okay, you see all these superheroes or not superheroes, but people. With these extreme powers, I and mean, what the heck was a Super Saiyan? <laughs> like, I have no idea. This a is Super when I was Saiyan like, is simply awesome. I was like eight, nine years old, younger, about Evan's age, and um, so I didn't have no idea what that stuff was. I need to see some of those and uh, some of the anime arcs, like. I've read the entire series, of course, but I think I only actually saw, like, part of the Frieza saga and part of the Majin Buu saga and part of the Saiyan saga. I mainly watched the um, regular Dragon Ball Z series, and then I think I started playing, like, the you know first Dragon Ball when Goku was younger, like a kid, and uh, it's just like... Oh, he's so cute now. <laughs> you know? He's so cute. <laughs> oh, and another show they had in there too was um, called Tenshi Muyo. I never actually watched that one. Oh, then it was like this guy trying to, these two girls trying to fight for this one guy's attention or something. I, I would have to like see if they still have that. Oh, and Samurai Jack. I never watched that. You didn't watch that? I did not watch it. Oh my that. god, that was so good. <laughs> it was basically made by the same guy who made Dexter's Laboratory. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to think. Now, Tenchi Muyo, I, th- I haven't really watched it, but I think I've read a little bit about it. Mm-hmm. Apparently, it became the trope namer for what's called the Tenchi Solution. <sighs> which is simply put, when you're dealing with a bunch of girls who are like you, marry them all. <laughs> I don't think that's a practical idea. Mm-mm. It is, however, potentially fun. Mm-hmm. So they had Dexter's Laboratory as well, and I watched that a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, Johnny Bravo. <laughs> <laughs> I watched him a couple times. Uh, um, and Ed, Ed and Eddie. <laughs> Ooh. Remember the intro? Mm-hmm. <laughs> at the very end. Oh god, so many memories. Mm-hmm. <laughs> now I kind of wonder if like there's some way you can go back and watch those. 
Because I love for Evan to see some of those. Those were really you know funny shows to watch. And I'm sure that there are people who are willing to yeah you know, yeah you know, offer the ability to you know, watch them for money. Like, there's probably some kind of like Cartoon Network you know subscription service. I I haven't literally like watched Cartoon Network in years though because they just started showing these shows that were like not. I just don't know. I wasn't really like, attracted to them. Not quite good. For me, that was Johnny Bravo. <laughs> I will miss something. When I was a girl, a little girl, I, I had a crush on Johnny Bravo. <laughs> right. I'm trying to think. Did he sound kind of like, um, what's his name? Elvis? Hmm? I kind of got the impression that he was kind of like Elvis. Oh, yeah. Because he had his hair sort of styled like that. Um, and he wore these, like, sunglasses, black sunglasses. And they would always say, hey, baby, or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, like, the memories of that just came flooding back in so much. Like, <laughs> talking about this stuff really helps you to remember. <laughs> yeah, I'm just trying to think what are some of the other ones I like. I really liked the Digimon, although I never actually got to see the climax Digimon. of that show. The original one. Digimon Adventures, it's called. Hmm. I wasn't, like, really a big fan of Digimon too much. It just looks like too much of a copycat of Pokemon. Well. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> I will not dignify that with response. <laughs> I guess you're a big lover of Digimon. Yes, I actually recorded like <laughs> I'm sorry. Almost an entire arc on VHS tapes. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to insult you. <clears throat> but I'm just saying that I didn't really like it too much. Because I felt like it was copying Pokemon too much. I love Pokemon. Don't get me wrong. I don't know really anybody who doesn't love Pokemon. You know? I liked the result of the death battle between Pokemon and Digimon. I know. Like, there's this channel called Death Match, right? Or Death? Death Battle. Death Battle. A lot of these people probably know it is. It's like one of the biggest YouTube channels out there. Wow. Like, whenever they pr do a video, like, it often shows up as, like, number one through ten on trending YouTube-wide. Wow. That's not bad. <laughs> like, what was that last fight that we watched? It was between, like, this one guy who was... Pretending to be like a ninja or something, or a, like one of those karate people. I don't. I. I think it's Sanji versus Rock Lee. Yeah. Yeah, like One Piece versus Naruto series. <laughs> that one was a lot of fun. <laughs> I won't spoil the ending though. Mm-hmm. I'll just say it was brutal. <laughs> That was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. I think my favorite dip is, is actually this Baba Ganoush. I love it. it tastes is perfect. I have no preference myself. Like, honestly, these don't taste too much different. Mm -hmm. Oh, that just might be me. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. I'm actually doing a, another live stream in just a, you know, a little bit, you know, folks. Although, that'll be actually before this, because we're filming this for later. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, um, I definitely would like to try some more food from this place. Mm-hmm. They look real good. In fact, not too long ago, they actually gave us some free food to mm -hmm. try for a video uh, for our ASMR channel, and you ate the, what was it, lamb shanks? Every single bite. You look like you're in heaven. Just the memories. <laughs> like, that was a really good, you know, food. I'd love to have it again. Mm-hmm.
Honestly, I was worried I messed up on the video a little bit. Mm-hmm. That was a lot of food. We didn't know it, but... They said they'd basically give us a family-sized platter. Mm -hmm. And you ate the whole thing. I don't know how many calories that was. Uh, I remember we had some left over. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, they gave us lamb shanks. Rice and roasted vegetables, pita bread, hummus, and um, baklava. Mm -hmm. Baklava. Yeah, at first you thought it was falafel. <laughs> yep. Thanks to this one person who corrected me in the you know the comment section, I was able to get that fixed within a few minutes. But whoops, I went there. Mm -hmm. No worries. I think everyone makes those mistakes. I mean, I probably would too, honestly. Like. You know, with the pronunciations and stuff, there's still sometimes I'm trying to learn that. Mm -hmm. yeah, but it's entirely possible I'm mispronouncing something here. Mm. I'm definitely getting stuffed. Oof. Indeed, I'm not sure if I'll be able to finish it all. <laughs> And so you get all this food for like only, I think, less than a thousand calories. That's what mine is. Your, well, your, yours is like... higher. True. Yours but... is like 1300, I think. Yeah. <laughs> beef has that many calories? Well, the beef and rice, that's what they wrote down on the thing platter they gave us. It was like, it said the beef was 700 something and the rice was 200. Mine was like... 274 and rice is another 200. And then, of course, you got, you know, all these little condiments on this side here. And they're like, you know, 100 calories something each. Dang. But the hummus was about 150. The baba ganoush was 120. And a tabbouleh. Tabbouleh, sorry. Was, um, I think, around 100 something pounds. But yeah, you get my point. This is healthy food. It's considered really healthy, but it's definitely very filling. No wonder, like, people usually eat this when they go on diets. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm going to have to be honest. I think I've pretty much reached the point that I can keep eating, but it's not going to be a forcing thing, you know? Right. So, we're probably going to get ready to end this because I'm definitely going to stuff too. We'll finish this off camera. Mm -hmm. But we had a you know, great time, and it's good to see you, folks. And definitely give this place a thumbs up. If you're ever in Memphis, please check out Casbah Restaurant. They've mm -hmm. always been very generous, very nice to us, and we always appreciate some good Mediterranean Lebanese food from this awesome place. Mm -hmm. And, you know, please be sure to check out Insecure Alyssa's channel once again. She's a very down to earth, kind, sweet woman. Mm -hmm. And um, she basically, you know, wants to start a channel. She loves cooking, wants to make friends, and. Kind of, you know, help her get out of her shell a little bit. And she just so, like, really, I keep saying sweet. She just comes across as that way, a really friendly person. Oh, by the way, her birthday is in August, and she'll be turning 28. She wanted me to mention that. Aww. Well, happy very it's early birthday, Liz. <laughs> I'll give you the second one to wish you happy birthday. Happy birthday in advance. Anyway, so be sure to check her channel in the description box below and please subscribe to her. I really appreciate that. Indeed. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to my channel and hit that bell recently notifications. And I will see you guys on the next video. Mm -hmm. Anyway, this is Crystal. And Charles. Sonia. Bye, Bye birdies. birdies. <laughs>